No. Y you know what? I, I can't accept this. I know Danville, and Danville is not naughty. We have to get a message to the North Pole to let them know there's been some sort of mistake. But how do we do that? Yes, they are not even entering our mail. Wait. I've got an idea. Ferb, I know what else we're going to do today. The North Pole? Well, I hate to tell you this, Phineas, but WJLP only reaches the greater Danville area. We just don't have a very powerful transmitter. You leave that to us. Everybody's saying we're naughty. It's getting really hard to take. So we've come to let the whole world know there must have been a mistake. So if Santa and his elves can hear us, we hope we've been clear and concise. In the versus vice versus us. Vice vice versus us versus vice. Danville is very nice. Oh, Santa, nice. please check your list more than twice. Guaranteed. Danville. What's he talking about? Let me see that list of last-minute naughties. They're all from the same place. Hmm, we've got to get to the bottom of this. We won't go until we get uh, some, we uh, won't... Guys, uh, look, uh, don't hate me, but I, I went into the kitchen to get some almond brittle. Love it! And lo and behold, it turns out I did have figgy pudding. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, I guess this whole thing was pretty easily resolved. Uh, I feel kind of sheepish about making such a big deal. It's, it's, anyway, here. Figgy pudding. Come on, guys. Our work here is done. Bye-bye now. Thanks for the evil motivation for destroying Christmas. Well, that was fun, at least. What do you think the chances are that anyone at the North Pole saw that? Hello, hello, hello. I'd say pretty good. So what's all this business about Danville, then? <laughs>